Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a clean and bold product page with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So right now I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is to add our product. So I'm going to come over here to products. And by the way, you also need to have WooCommerce installed. It's absolutely free. And to install it, you just come over here to plugins and click on add new search for the plugin, install it, and then activate it. So that's all you need to do. Once it's activated, you'll see an entry here, which says WooCommerce. And then what we need to do is to hover over here where it says products and then click on add new. Now I've already added my product. So let me just go through what we need here for our product. So for our product here, if I click on edit, we're going to need to add a title and this is where we add the title. So my title here is called building with Divi. And then we also need to add a description text. So this is my description text. I've just used some dummy text from Lorem 2. Next over here, we need to create a category. So I'm just going to click here and choose and create a category called books and, and then select that category. So the next part here is to add your pricing. So this here is $29.99. But of course, you can add whatever price you want. I also have a short description that I've also added here. And then over here on the right, we need to add our product image. And uh, the image I have here is just of a book. So pretty much that's all we need when it comes to the product that we need for this page. All right. So with that, all you have to do is to click um, update or, you know, create. So in this case, my product now has been added. Now it's time to build the actual page. So now that we've done all this, the next stage is to go into our builder. But before we do that over here on the right sidebar, we are going to come back and uh, set this to full width. So let's go ahead and click on use Divi Builder. Okay, so now that we've activated the builder, if you come over here on the page layout, you can see now we have an option which says full width. So that's what we need to select. And then we're going to build this from the front end. So I'm going to click here on build on front end. So here you can see that we have this layout that comes in by default from WooCommerce. Now we don't want to use this layout because this is why we need to build our own uh, layout. So let's delete this and then start from scratch. So the first thing we need to do is to go into our, our um, section settings. So here we need to, in fact, you know what, let me just snap this over to the left. I prefer working that way. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to design spacing. And here we need to add a padding of 200 to the top and zero to the bottom. Next, we need to go to the advanced tab, click on visibility. So on the overflow here, let's start with the uh, horizontal. So we're going to set this to hidden. And on the vertical, we're going to do the same as well. Set this to hidden and then save. So now the next stage is to add our column structure. So we're going to start off with adding a single column. And let's go ahead and add our background color. So to do that, I'm going to just um, click away from this and then click here on my row settings background. And then I'm going to click on this plus button and paste my color in here. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right. So moving on, uh, let's go to sizing. So I'm going to click here on design sizing. And what we're going to do here is to set our maximum width to um, 1000 pixels. Now let's go into our spacing because we also need to add some padding to this. So here we're going to set our padding to 150 and this is going to go both to the top and the bottom. And then let's go to the border. So here, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a border style. So we're going to have some rounded corners here to the top, but not to the bottom. So to achieve that, we need to disable this chain because if we leave it open, uh, it's going to apply the same values across all four sides. So we just want these to be on the top left and the top right. So I'm going to set this to 50 pixels and I'm going to also do the same over here to the right. So that's the shape we're going to have. Next, we're going to come over here to the advanced visibility and we need to set our overflows as well. And this needs to be set to visible. And I'm also going to do the same to the vertical. So pretty much we're done here. I'm going to save 
And then let's start adding all our modules. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and the first module we're gonna need is the Woo breadcrumbs. So I'm just gonna search for Woo and then here we go. So I'm gonna set my Woo breadcrumbs. And it's important here that the product here is set to this product because that automatically sets it to whatever product that we have on that particular page that we're working on. So for the home link, I'm just gonna set this to, you know, a default one. But of course, in your case, you want to add your actual link. And then for the separator, I'm just gonna have this like forward, um, that forward slash. In fact, I've got this on the wrong place. This needs to be on the home link. Now let's go to the text settings because we need a specific uh, text for uh, this design. So I'm gonna come over here to the design tab and I'm just gonna go to my texts and change my default font here to crimson text. I'm gonna select that, the font weight, I'm gonna set this to bold, uppercase and the size to 20 pixels and the letter spacing to four. Now let's go to the link font. So over here, to set our link uh, font, we need to um, click here on this tab, but our font weight here, we're gonna set this to light, and we're also going to give this a color, enter my color like that. So the next step here is to add our margins, because as you can see, things are a bit tight here on the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. So we're gonna come over here to spacing, and we're gonna start here with the top margin and set this to 80 pixels and then the left margin we're going to set this to 50 and then the right is also going to be 50 so i'm going to activate my chain so pretty much that's all we need to do here let's go ahead and save now it's time to add another module and i'm going to click here on this plus button so our module here is going to be the product so i'm going to search for wood title and select it and make making sure that the product is set to this product now let's go to our text settings. So I'm gonna come over here to design, title text, we're gonna set this to monster ads. There we go, so I'm gonna select that. And the font weight this time is gonna be heavy and the color is going to be black. So I'm gonna drag this all the way down here to black. The alignment needs to be centered and our text size is gonna be huge. So this is gonna be 250 pixels. And then for our line height, I'm gonna set this to 0.9 so the next step now is to go to spacing to set our margins so i'm going to start with my left margin and so we're going to start by setting it to 150 and also on the right we're going to set this to minus 150 as well so you can see now the uh the text is now easier to read so while we're here as well we might as well go into our mobile settings so i'm going to go to tablet and for our tablet, we are going to set this to minus 100 and minus 100 here as well. But for the phone, we're gonna set it to minus 50. And again, this applies, to, this applies to the left and the right. All right, so now with that all set, I'm gonna go switch back over here to my desktop tab. And then we're gonna start adding even more uh, sections. So I'm gonna save this. And now let's add another regular section by clicking on this plus button. So I'm gonna select my regular section, but before I can start adding all my rows and, uh, and modules, let's go into our section settings here. So here, the first thing we need to do is to add a top and bottom padding. So I'm gonna click here on design and then click on spacing. So for our padding top, we're gonna to set this to zero and our padding bottom is going to be 200. Now let's add our rows. So I'm gonna save this. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button. So the column structure we're gonna go with is one third, two thirds. Now, as we did before, we're gonna add our background color first. So I'm gonna close out of this, click on my row settings, background, click on the plus button and add my color in here. So we want this row to be similar to the one we have here on the top. So I'm gonna to go to design, sizing, and I wanna set my maximum width to 1000 pixels. And we're also going to add a custom padding. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing. So this time our padding is only going to be on the bottom. Now, you know that shape that we did earlier on here on the top where we have these uh, rounded corners on the top? We need to do the opposite now. So over here on the border, I'm gonna disable the chain and this time I'm gonna add 50 pixels to the bottom and 50 pixels here as well. And then finally, we're gonna come over here to the advanced tab, click on visibility, and just make sure that our horizontal and vertical overflow is set to visible, and then we're going to save. 
All right, so the next stage now is to go into column one and add our featured image. So I'm gonna click here on a row settings, go into the settings of column one, click on background, and then I'm gonna to go to the third tab to add our image. So I'm gonna click here on this uh, dynamic content and set my featured image. Now let's head over here to the design tab, click on spacing and let's add a bottom padding of 370. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. I'm gonna save and save one more time. And then over here now we can start adding our modules. So I'm gonna start here with a text module. And in this module, I'm just gonna add some text which says award winning. Now let's add a background color to our text module. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and paste the color. Now, as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I am using in this tutorial, I would leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so moving on, let's head over here now to design and text. So here we need to change our font to Monster Rant, and then the weight needs to be heavy. Oh, in fact, you know what? Let's set it to ultra bold. It's a bit too much. Okay, that's much better. And then for the alignment, we're gonna center it. And for our text color, for this to really stand out, this needs to be set to white. So I'm gonna come over here and just drag this all the way up to white. Now, the next stage is to set our text size and our line height. So I'm gonna scroll down here and go into my text area here, set my size to 30. And my line height is going to be one, one EM. Now let's shrink our module size by coming over here to sizing. So here on sizing, we just need to adjust our, our width to 280 pixels. Now we're going to turn this module into a square. So let's go to our spacing and let's start with our top margin. So here we're gonna set this to minus 120 and then for the left we're also going to set it to minus 120. Now it's time to add our padding. So for our padding I'm just going to set this to 110 for the top and the bottom and then uh, we also need to add padding to the left and the right. So I'm going to go in here and set this one here to 50 and it needs to be applied to both sides as well. So you can see now we have a square. Now if you want to make this into a circle Here's what we need to do. We can come over here to border and set this to 500 pixels. Now, as you can see, I've left the chain uh, intact. That's because I wanted to apply all the um, values here to all the sides. So that's what we need to do there for our award winning. Now, the next stage is to go into our transform rotate because we need to rotate this a little bit. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to transform, and then I'm gonna to come to transform rotate. So the value that we need to add needs to go on the first item here. So I'm gonna set it to 330. So now that looks much, much better. The next stage now is to add in another text module. So I'm gonna save this. And our text module here is going to go to column two. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, search for my text module. And in here, we're just gonna say summary. And then we're gonna set this to heading two. Now let's customize this by going to our design tab, heading text, heading two, and we're gonna set this to monster at. And for our text size, we're gonna set this to 35 pixels. Next, we're going to add a margin. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing. And the first thing we're gonna do is to add our top margin. We're gonna set this to minus 70. And then our left margin is going to be 100. So I'm gonna add my 100 here. And then the right margin is going to be 20. Now it's time to add our wood description. So I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna click on this plus button to add our module. And our module here is going to be the wood description. So I'm just gonna search for it and select it. So this will just pull all our data from from um, the product that we added earlier on. So here we need the short description. So make sure for the description type, type you've set it to short. And now let's go to our text settings. So I'm gonna click here on design text and we're gonna set this to crimson text. 
And then for our text size, we're gonna set this to 19. Line height, this needs to be 1.8. And then for this, we're gonna justify everything. Right, so now let's take a look at our margins. So I'm gonna to go to spacing. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to add our left margin, set it to 100, uh, to 100 pixels. And the right margin is going to be minus 100. And finally, for our bottom padding, I'm gonna set this to 50 pixels. Okay, so that's all we need to do here. I'm gonna save, and then the next stage is to add our woo price. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, and I'm gonna search for my woo pricing. Select that, and making sure this is set to this price. Now we need to customize this by going to our price settings. So I'm gonna click here on design, price text, and we're gonna change this to monster ad. And because we've used this before, it's going to be easy to find. And then for our weight here, we're gonna go with heavy, and the color is going to be black, and the text size needs to also be massive. So we're gonna set this to 50 pixels. So over here on the spacing, we need to set our margins. So I'm going to start by setting my bottom margin and this is going to be 50 pixels and then left and right and then left uh, margin is going to be 100 and then the right margin is going to be 20. So now you can see everything is all lined up correctly. So that's all we need to do here. Let's save and then the next module is going to be our woo add to cart. So I'm going to search for add to cart and here it is. I'm gonna select that. Now we need to customize this but before we do that make sure that this is set to this product. Okay, so let's go to our text settings. So here we're going to set this to monster ad. So now we need to do uh, quite a, a bit of adjustment. So let's go to fields and let's start with our fields background color. So for our fields background color, I know I've used white before. So I'm going to go in ahead and select white. And then for our fields text color, it's going to be black. So I'm going to go ahead and choose black. Now let's go to our top and bottom padding. And here we're going to set this to 66. And the same applies to the bottom as well. Now let's add our fields font. And this again is going to be monster rat. And we're going to set this to heavy. All right. So the next stage is to head over to our rounded corners. So all around, we're going to set this to five pixels. And by default, as you can see, it's set to three. So we're going to set it to five. And then we're going to add a bottom field border. So I'm going to go with this uh, selection here. And this is the bo uh, bo bottom border. And then we're going to set this to three pixels. And we also need to give this a color. So the color we're going to go with is pasted in here. This red, this dark orange. And uh, also I have, uh, I'll leave a link to the post in the show notes below if you want to use that same color. All right, so with that now, we also need to customize our button. So I'm gonna click here on this brush tool to go directly to my button settings. So in order for us to customize our button, we need to activate use custom styles for button. So now let's start with our text color. So here we're gonna set it to white. So I'm gonna go to my recent colors and choose my color here and uh, it's white. And then let's go to our button background color. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and paste my color in here. So for our border width, we are going to set this to zero. And then for our button border radius, we're gonna set this to five. Now let's choose our font. We're gonna set this to monster red. And we're also going to make this ultra bold. There we go, ultra bold. And uh, the style is also going to be uppercase. Now we also need to make this button nice and big. So to achieve that, we're going to add some padding. So let's start by adding a top padding. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here until I find my padding. So we're gonna set our top padding, set it to 50 and the bottom as well. Now for this button here to balance, we also need to add the left and right. I'm gonna set my left padding here, my right. So now you can see we have this massive, massive button. Now for this, we also need to add a um, shadow. So I'm gonna go with my first option here. And uh, for our color, I'm just gonna leave the default as it is for my drop shadow color. Okay, so pretty much our design is complete. I'm gonna save here, and then I'm gonna save the page and exit the visual builder. So this is our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.